Hi guys, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. Welcome to 2022. We are here with a life update. So literally, you guys won't even believe that this is the third time I'm filming this video. And at this point, I don't even care what it looks like anymore. I am going to upload this version. The first version that I filmed, it was at our new office. It was all a super nice setup that I had for you guys. But then I tried to set up and film for myself. And then half of my face, even more than half my face, and not even in the frame move, which was absolutely insane. But to add on top of that, we also moved workspaces. So this is a brand new warehouse space that we moved in. So that's shot number one. Shot number two, I just filmed here in this room with a nice camera, with a nice audio, with the mic and everything. I upload the file to my computer and there's no audio. I'm telling you 2022 is off to a weird start. Let us know in the comments below if your 2022 is off to a weird start as well. I just feel like nothing has changed. Everything is weird. Anyways. But um, yeah, today I wanted to kick off 2022 with a life update video because if you haven't known, our lives have changed a lot in the past few months. And I wanted to do a sit down and tell you how everything's been, how Herky and Milton are doing with the changes and just keep you updated with everything. Just feel like this is a nice reset for the new year and then we can just kick off with some new video content that you guys want to see. So without further ado, let's do a recap of the recent life events that happened. So in September, I gave birth to a baby boy named Oasis. He was born on September 22nd and we uploaded a birth video as well as Herky and Milton meeting their baby brother video. They're super cute videos and we really appreciate all the love, support and the just such sweet comments that you guys are leaving on those videos. So that happened in September. Uh, around that same time, actually exactly on the day I was giving birth, we were moving houses as well. Oasis was due in October, but he was two weeks early. So we thought we could move and then be in the new house for two weeks and then the baby would come. But no, he decided to come, but he decided that my water was breaking the day before the move. So it was all in shambles. You can see all that good stuff and all that all those details in our birth vlog video. I'm gonna be linking everything you need to know up here and in the description box below as well. But it was such a roller coaster of emotion. It's been quite something. So other than that, other than giving birth and moving to a new house, we also moved to a new warehouse. <laughs> so one month after giving birth, our whole warehouse team moved our warehouse along with Andy. This was supposed to be done in June of 2021. But of course, with COVID and with the construction delays, it got pushed until October and then to November 1st. So you can imagine how hectic it must have been with our house that was not even well moved in yet. With the newborn, with the two dogs getting acquainted to their new house and also moving the workplace. So it's been quite the intensive few months, if you, if you can imagine. Uh, we are trying to adjust as best as we can, and we are trying to make Herky and Milton's life adjust as best as possible. I wanted to touch on how Herky and Milton are doing with the baby. I know this question comes up a lot, and this was something I was very nervous with while being pregnant. I was wondering how Herky and Milton would do with the arrival of the baby. I was wondering how much time we could still spend with them and all that, so that's why I wanted to update you all on that. So... In general, Milton is very afraid of kids, particularly toddlers. The energy is just off for her. She's really afraid of the abrupt movements. She's afraid of the grabby fingers and all that. So I was very afraid of bringing a baby home. And as soon as I was pregnant, Milton was always a lap dog. But as soon as I got pregnant, she would stop cuddling me. She would stop sitting with me during the day. So I was very worried about how all of that would be with the baby. But surprisingly, as soon as we brought the baby home, she's been super protective of the baby. She's always around him. Every time I am nursing the baby, she wants to be right there. Every time there's strangers coming in the house or strangers, there's people coming in the house, she kind of stands between 
me the baby and the other person as if she's protecting us or she's like presenting the baby or she's just being protective which is super endearing i'm very happy of how milton is around the baby she's very sweet she's super curious about him she always wants to lick him but so far he's still a newborn so we'll see when he starts crawling and grabbing things if she's going to change her attitude or if it's going to be the same i did hear that once they start eating and when they start feeding the dogs the dogs will get obese and also they will become the baby's best friend so that's another bridge that we will cross to once we get there <laughs> As far as Herky, she's always been more open and more playful and more social with people and with dogs and with just anybody that enters the house. So when uh, the baby came home, I expected that she would be super like social and very curious. But on the opposite, she was more indifferent to the baby. While I was pregnant, she used to cuddle with me a lot more than Milton did. She used to sleep on my pillow. She used to guard me and just be around me more. Well, when the baby came, she was just much more indifferent. She would give us our space and all. She is only now slowly getting more and more curious about the baby. She is very comfortable around him. It's not like she's trying to avoid, but she's just very indifferent, which is a good thing. I just expected her to be more social, but I did notice that when people come over, she's demanding a lot more attention from people. So maybe she feels like she's getting less attention from us. Um, but I did want to touch on that also. The time that we spend with her kid Milton. As you can imagine, having a baby is very, very time consuming and it changes your entire life because just everything revolves around the baby. There's just so many things to do around him and the schedule and it's around the clock. It's just all the time. So I was expecting to spend less time with Herky and Milton, but we don't spend less time with them. We're still all five of us together all the time, 24 seven, which is not changed from before. I just have less lap time with Milton for example I have less time to just sit and pet them and watch TV I don't even have time to watch TV anymore so before we used to all sit all four of us on the couch at night watching a movie watching a show and I would pet her and Milton for hours and just comb them and all that but I don't we don't have time to do that anymore we don't sit on the couch anymore to watch TV but we are still with her and Milton all the time um, I do take them on less outings in general just because before it was summer also, so they were outside all the time. Now it's winter, they go outside less. Um, we do spend less time outside just because it's colder and also with the baby schedule, it's harder. But we do our best to give them attention here and there. Andy is much more involved than, than I am, which is amazing. He spends so much time with them and he plays ball with Milton. He brings him her to the park and I do as well because I just feel like it's good for mental health postpartum to get outside and do other things. I did notice that the hardest days for me was when I was just cooped up inside, just me and the baby. It was very difficult, which is why we love doing outings every single day, whether it be to the park, at work, just going somewhere. It just refreshes the mind, the soul, everything is just good to refresh all that, which is also why I'm back at work, which is surprising to a lot of people. Um, in Canada, you're supposed to have around one year mat leave when you have a baby. I was never expecting to take one year just because I have my own business and I have I can't just leave the business because it's a small business and everything revolves around me, basically. S that sounded weird. It's not everything revolves around me, but basically the business can't really run if I'm not there. So I wasn't expecting to take a year off, but I was pretty much back at work after six weeks just because it's good for, I found it good for my mental health to do things other than just taking care of the baby. So all five of us always move as a unit to go to work because we work at the same place, which is very useful. Andy takes the baby for half the day. I take the baby for half the day. Um, so it's been very helpful. He loves spending time with the baby too. He is with Oasis right now. Uh, Oasis is napping on his dad. So um, we just take turns taking him on us. That's the only way he will nap anyways during the day. So so transitioning from that to the new workplace. Herc and Milton now have a new workplace and they love it. Uh, they had a little rougher time adjusting to the new house, but to the new workplace, it's been amazing because there's so many people there that they love. They love all the attention and the love that they're getting. So as soon as they got to the new warehouse, it's been very easy for them to transition. So we go to work maybe three days a week. We move all of us together and it's hard to get all five of us out the door. It's, it's very time consuming. You can just forget about schedules. You just go with the flow when there's a 
two adults, two dogs, and a baby getting out the house, it's very hard, but we just go with the flow. Um, but yeah, the girls are adjusting very well to the new workplace. This house, however, uh, Herky was very stressed out with at first. When we were first visiting this place, uh, it was about two weeks before I was giving birth and this place was completely empty. It was still under construction, so there was a lot of noise, a lot of new smells that she wasn't used to and she was very stressed out. Like every time she came here, she would have her tail between her legs, she would shake, she would be very, very afraid. So what we did to make her more comfortable is that with every visit, we would bring little items uh, that she's used to, like her bed, some food, this and that to get her more and more used to it. For Milton, we brought a ball. So we started playing in this place, um, in this empty place with a ball for her to get used to it. But what really changed for Herky is that once her bed, this bed, was here and her couch, she felt much more comfortable. So if your dog is not comfortable at a new place, make sure that you bring items that remind them of their house, that brings them comfort and food really helps to get them used to a new place. But Herky is very good now. She loves spending time on her bed. This is her favorite place. And the girls are really used to this place now. I'm going to link the new house tour if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but yeah, it's been a few months that we've been living here now and everything is very good here. We're very happy we did the move. We have so much more space, which is essential when you have a baby and two dogs. And we, we just outgrew the other place. Although we have so many sweet memories of the of the old place and we love that place so much. I feel like we started Hercule Cavalier YouTube there and it was our first home. It was Herky's first home, it was Milton's first home. It was gonna be Oasis' first home, but we just upped and moved. So if you haven't seen that video, it's a very sweet, sort of like sitcom -y last episode um, of our old place. I'm going to link it there as well for you to watch. Just so many memories and, you know, we're happy with whatever we made out of that place, but it was time for a move. Oh, I also wanted to touch on the fact that uh, somebody asked how Herc and Milton are doing with the baby. I think I answered that, but also if the baby wakes up with Herc and Milton's barks. I'm going to say in general, no except that one time. So in general, Oasis can nap pretty well during the day. Uh, noise and light doesn't matter during the day anymore. So now he sleeps uh, during the day with some light, with some noise, and it's fine. At night, he's a bit more light sensitive and noise sensitive. So we're very cautious of keeping the environment very calm and very dark at night so he can nap. But in general, Hurricane Milton's barks don't wake the baby except that one time. That one time, I feel like all five of us were exhausted. Um, the baby just wouldn't sleep during the day at all. And when he finally settled, her kid Milton were settled, we finally started dozing off. Somebody knocked at the door and the dogs went crazy barking and the baby woke up and he was so mad. And that was the only time that he woke up because of the barks. Or I don't know if it's because of the barks or the knocks anyways, but that was the one time and we are traumatized by that time. So we try to be very mindful at night about the noise. So I think this is going to sum up our life update video. There's a lot that has been happening to us in the past few months, as you can imagine. But we are getting back in the groove of things. We are settled in and we are happy to be back with you and sharing all these moments with you in 2022. Again, I wanted to say thanks for all the sweet and loving comments in our past videos. Just made us realize that you have been part of this for so long with us and you witnessed so many important memories and events in our life so we are happy to continue sharing these moments with you so let us know what you would like to see in the comments below and we will be happy to make these videos for you oh by the way if you like my shirt it says dog mom it's available on Kavology. this is great if you want to add it to your crew necks and your sweatshirts because valentine's day is just around the corner so hope you check it out i'm going to leave a link down in the description box below but the this website is Kavology brand oh you're kissing her key so this is going to be it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the update. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye.